If you're stuck on prompt ideas, or creating unique and eye-catching logos, icons, or any sort of art for yourself, I need help with prompt ideas, or for your business to use, Metrix Mule can help me, then you're going to want to watch this whole entire video. That's because I have 10 amazing prompts I'm sharing with you today that are copy and paste ready for you to use for yourself right now. Don't forget to subscribe. After I demo and show you each prompt, I'm actually gonna show it on the screen. That way you can notate it and copy it and use it however you want. Imagine being able to create documentary level style close-up shots, eye-catching landscapes, and really cool visual 3D effect type images. And that can all be done with AI art tools and you can 100% use them with both Leonardo, Midjourney, and even Adobe Firefly. Before AI AI, it could be difficult to come up with ideas off the top of my head. Make sure to watch the whole video. That's no longer because the power in tools like Leonardo AI and Midjourney completely changes everything. All right, so here's the first prompt I'm gonna show you guys. It's called Hologram. It's very simple. A man or a woman next to a holographic car, ultra translucent, 3D rendering, intricate details, and then do the dash dash S250. And don't forget, like I said, I'll put all these prompts on the screen after I go over each and every one for you guys. And so the first place I started was over here in Mid Journey, and then look at this prompt right here. This is exactly what it made for me right here. So this prompt, this did a fantastic job. Open up my browser, and now keep in mind, you can actually replace the word car with anything else that you want. Okay, now moving on, this is an awesome prompt. This one is called a video game building. You can actually make it in a different variety of ways. And you can see down here, it says credit actually goes to this Twitter account, Chase Lean on Twitter. Let me go ahead and copy this paste right back into Mid Journey and then see what this can come up with. And now as we're doing that, I'm gonna head over to Leonardo AI and then look at all these variety of models we can use. So if I'm looking to make something that's gonna be a 3D type effect item, we could look at one of these models and we could say, which ones do we think might work? Now let's head back over to Mid Journey and then see what this one made for us here. Check this out. This is pretty cool. This is one of my favorite prompts. 3D isometric. I love it. Let's go back over to my Airtable database and then let's try this one right here. This is going to be a cyberpunk isometric blender 3D model. And now let's do the same thing with this same exact prompt, but we just changed a few of the words up. So now we're going for a cyberpunk isometric type style. We'll wait for mid journey and now we'll head back over to Leonardo AI. And then here is what Leonardo AI made for us with that one for the 3D stadium. This is pretty cool too. I like the way this looks. It's very realistic 3D isometric. Again, with Leonardo AI, this was made with isometric sci-fi buildings dynamic, and Leonardo AI will completely change up depending upon what fine-tuned model and preset you use. So you might get two images that look completely different. Now, if we head back over to Mid Journey, look what it made for me here once we utilize the cyberpunk keyword. This is pretty cool too. Look at this. Isometric 3D cyberpunk with the neon futuristic lighting style. Very good job. Okay, so now check this one out. I did one more thing, and this time I used the word Ferris wheel with the colors red. Look at this right here. This looks so cool in Mid Journey. 3D isometric, 3D rendering. I love this right here. This one was done with the same exact prompt, but as you can see over here, I used the words Ferris wheel, red, and chrome silver. Very impressive. Love this one right here. Have you ever wanted a large variety of specific icons for a particular theme? You know, whether it be for birthdays, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. Well, now you can have exactly just that. A large variety of different icons relevant to one specific theme, Christmas, Valentine's Day, etc. This prompt will generate a nice, minimalistic, modern, and clean icon set for you. So what this prompt is going to be is a 3D vector set of birthday icons in the style of, I can't pronounce that name, mixes, realistic, and fantastical elements. Why are we waiting on that one to generate? Let's do another one for Christmas. And as we wait on Christmas, look at these icons it made for me right here for the birthday cake one. Let me go ahead and open this one up. Check this out. Boom. Look what Mid Journey made. This whole set of icons. So you basically have a different variety of birthday related icons that you can use. Four quadrants. And on each quadrant, you're going to have nine different elements. So very cool. You're going to have 9 times 4, 36. I think that's right. 36. Yeah, that's right. So there you have it, a full list. Now, as we were waiting on that, now look at these right here. Look at these Christmas icons. Amazing. Again, you're going to have four different quadrants, nine in each square, which gives you now 36 variety icons for Christmas-related decorations. This is very cool, too. And so with Halloween coming up, let's do one more for Halloween. Here are the Halloween-style icons that I did in Midjourney with the same exact prompt. So all you have to do is basically just change up the keyword or the holiday or the occasion to a new occasion that you want. So I just use the same exact prompt, and instead of using Christmas or birthday, I just change it up to Halloween. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so now the next one is gonna be a 3D minimalistic icon logo. This is one of my favorites because it's clean, it's unique, and it really gets the job done with giving you the exact logo that's clean and minimalistic and modern that you wanna use. So let's start off again with this one over here in Mid Journey. I'm gonna go ahead and create a few of these at the same time with different variations. Okay, so look what this one made for me in Mid Journey right here. This one looks fantastic. It's clean and it's simple. So again, the actual prompt says icon logo, minimalistic, 3D, leaf, green, octane render, circular pattern, white background. Very nice. And so I did one more over here with the letter X. Now check this one out. Again, same exact prompt, except I just said icon logo, minimalistic, 3D, quote, the letter X. And then we get this nice looking clean modern 3d icon so the next one i want to show you brings breathtaking to a whole nother level we're first going to go ahead and start in leonardo ai and then you can see at the top i actually pasted the prompt in it's simple breathtaking landscape shot bora bora islands ar32 style raw now check this out this is perfect and this is actually created within the new leonardo photo reel and i can change it up a little bit by going cinematic creative etc and so one of my favorites is if i choose rpg v5 and actually choose the photography alchemy preset this is going to generate some incredible looking breathtaking scenes look at that right there that was beautiful that's beautifully done again this is in bora bora and this actual model in leonardo ai this one was made on photoreal creative and so you could see the difference and variations between cinematic creative and now this one up here this one at the very top same exact prompt rpg v5 with the photography alchemy preset and then look at this right here this looks great and then now when i use this one in mid journey look what this gave me right here now this one is very impressive as well this is going to be the same scenic landscape bora bora and so keep in mind that you can also replace bora bora or any sort of location with what you want a desert type environment mountainous regions or any other landscape or popular destination that you want to try as these ones that you see in Bora Bora. So this one's fantastic. One of my favorites for scenic landscape. So this next one I'm going to show you guys is really cool too. And this one is a matrix dot drawing dog computer generated aesthetics. Now I'll come back over here to Mid Journey and paste this one in. This one does a really cool job making exactly what we're looking for. Now what's interesting, and you want to make sure you keep this in mind, Mid Journey and Leonardo AI are going to craft and create two different variations of images for you. You might notice that some of these prompts work better in one or other. If you try these prompts out and you think that one's not working as good as the other, or you think Leonardo AI won't be doing such a good job compared to Mid Journey or vice versa, try a few different replacements of keywords or fine-tuned models. You'll be surprised what you can get. Let's go back over here to Mid journey and then you can see right here I, with this prompt it gave me sort of like a matrix dot drawing with a dog as the focal point i could do the same thing with the same exact prompt and then change dog to something else like computer and now watch this it'll give me something completely different too okay so same thing now i use the same exact prompt with the matrix type characteristic and i replace the word dog with cyborg or ai robot and now i get this right here so pretty good the one on the bottom left hand corner seems to have been the best one because the other ones don't have that green text to it but the one on the bottom left does look pretty good so another very common question i get are do you have any particular prompts for a children's coloring book or just a coloring book in general well with that said this prompt right here does exactly just that it's very simple it's just children's doodle art on white paper representing art for a coloring book vector black and white and so we'll use the same exact prompt we'll head over here into leonardo ai and then here's what this created for me right here not a bad job but again i chose the wrong fine-tuned model but then if i come back over here into mid journey you could see it's going to create me some something like this. So this might be a little bit better. Different characters, black and white, and this can serve as a coloring book. Now keep in mind, this type of coloring book will turn out really good if you give it a little bit more detail and characteristics of exactly what you're looking for. So in this case, with this prompt over here, it's just quite simple. It's a children's doodle art on white paper representing art for a coloring book. Okay, now this one is very cool over here. This one is going to be a very close-up documentary style type of photo. It's going to be very hyper and photorealistic. The time I saw this, I was very impressed with how this turned out. Let's go ahead and utilize Mid Journey and see what it can come up with here. I'll go back to Leonardo AI and this time I'm going to use Photo Real Cinematic and then type in this prompt right here and then see what this can come up with here. Okay, so I have the first one done in Leonardo AI. This one looks pretty good. So it's a close up documentary shot, not bad. And now the one I'm more impressed with is this one right here. This was done again, Leonardo AI, but a completely different fine tuned model. Really good. Look how close up this is. The eyes, the texture, you could see the reflection of the light on 
her forehead. And so you could see with two different fine-tuned models, this one down here is photoreal cinematic. And then this one up here, in my opinion, actually did a little bit of a better job. So let's go back over to Mid Journey and look at this one right here. Look at this one. This one's fantastic. And then we could see these really turned out quite well. They all did a very good job, except for I would say the top right-hand corner. But this one right here it looks like she's looking straight at you but this one's fantastic i'll scroll down and then look at these two at the bottom specifically look at the one on the left hand side this in fact might be my favorite one i've made so far you have the eyes again looking straight at you and then you have the water drops on her forehead and then on her cheeks so again that prompt was quite simple close-up documentary photography woman in the style of a candid imperfection no makeup so very good job Okay, now let's go back to another very fun one. This one, again, is simple. A metallic, your object in the style of multifaceted geometry. Now, let's just go ahead and copy this prompt right here. This is pretty cool. And you could type in where it says your object. Type it in with anything else that you want. So I'm staying in mid-journey, and I'll go ahead and put this command in. My object, I'm going to put a uh, supercar. Now, boom, look at that one in mid-journey right here. Beautiful, metallic glow, has that golden, futuristic neon look. Pretty good, and it has definitely that metallic sort of characteristic to it. And so I said I had 10, but let me give you one more bonus one for another gradient type, easy, simple icon logo. This is going to be for any type of icon you want. So in this case, I used email copy icon, white background, clean look, photorealistic style, peaceful and gradient color. So back on over here in mid journey, it's done. Let me take a look at it. Open this up. Now look at that right here. Now this is one of my favorite prompts for a good, clean icon with gradient colors. This one is phenomenal. So if I actually come back over here and I change my prompt up, I'm going to go ahead and change the word instead of email email copy icon. I'm going to type in cell phone copy icon instead. And so we'll get the same sort of design and look of this email one, but then the icon will completely change and it'll be now for a phone. And then we can do the same thing over and over again for any other icon that we want. I pay something in and I say, then try laptop instead. And so you're going to get these nice business related, peaceful gradient color icons that you can use. And the beautiful thing about these is that here's the one for the cell phone right here. And so the one on the bottom right hand corner is going to be more of an iPhone modern type image. So the beautiful thing about this is that you could actually make this into a very good transparent PNG file. So all you have to do is upscale this one right here in the bottom right hand corner and then just remove the background and boom like that you have some good icons you could use across the board with a transparent background okay now this one's done i replaced the word phone with laptop and then boom there you go good clean icon white background images that you can easily remove the background on There are so many great prompts like this. Today, I just wanted to show you 11, but I have tons of others I'd love to share with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.